What, what about you? <laughs> That's right. Uh, whatever you think of Donald Trump, he, he is a master at branding. And I thought and that was he, a very classy speech. I thought it was very it classy, was well very done. Done. very gracious. <laughs> very calculated, well yeah. done. It was Reagan, it was uh, Kennedy, it's uh, his version of uh, President Donald Trump, no question about it. And if, he, if he's succe as successful at uniting the party, which is the next step he has to take, as he's been at seizing attention in these early contests and winning them without spending money, who knows? <laughs> yeah, well, he did something presidential. He said he was going to be making a press statement at 9 p.m. Eastern time, then all the media, including us at Fox Business, we went to it. And it was no press statement. It was just uh, maybe something fell through. We're told that maybe, maybe a, a, a big endorsement didn't pan out the way it was planned. Who knows? But maybe this was the plan audience. all along, and he, and he ended up <laughs> doing, doing very, very well. And I, I dare say that if Marco Rubio were to drop out of the race or lose Florida, he'd probably be just as generous to him. Um, now, I don't know that for sure. I do know that no one's quitting this race yet. I mean, Ben Carson seems to be poised to do so. But I would imagine for the debate tomorrow night, we'll see what. Well, uh, he's got to unite the party, Donald Trump. I mean, the last time I saw something just quite like this was 1960 in the Democrat Party. Humphrey had fallen off, Estes Kefauver had fallen off, and it came down to three. John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, and Stuart Symington of Missouri. And Kennedy did the unthinkable. He picked Lyndon Johnson as his running mate to heal the party, and he would not have won if he hadn't have picked Lyndon Johnson. And Johnson and Kennedy they both became president. So I see Trump at this point, he needs Rubio. He's offended Hispanics, Rubio's Hispanic. He needs Florida, Rubio's Florida. Uh, he needs a Catholic to balance his ticket if he picks a VP, and Rubio's a Catholic. Most importantly, he needs to heal the party, and Rubio's been his whipping boy. So I don't know. It, the it, Rubio one, I don't know if they're going to pass the con man. Well, maybe you're right. I mean, they had a very nasty exchange, Dick and LBJ, and you're, like you said, they settled on a ticket. Very bitter. Or maybe he goes outside to a governor if he were to get the nomination. No guarantee of that. So I guess what I'm asking you is, the more presidential he sounds or tries to sound, do you think he'll hold back on the personal insults or wait till he's closer to the nomination? As I said, he's still three quarters of the way from being there. One of the great unknowns to me <laughs> is how much of his temper is calculated and how much of ah. it is spontaneous. And if it's uh, spontaneous enough, uh, Hillary Clinton and the Democrats are going to provoke him for sure. All right. Thank you very, very much. Uh, always good, Doug. Now, on the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton leads by either a lot or like an awesome lot. Enter the superdelegates.